Hello friends, welcome to this section of the time series data analysis. Today we'll start with a very small data set that is called the air passenger data that is readily available in Kaggle. You can download and start with me. And this data is having only two variables like the time variable that is called month because it's a monthly interval data and there is number of passenger headcount for each month. So this is an imaginary data and it's having only a few hundreds of records, but it's a very good data to start on the time series analysis. So we'll start it using the Python and we'll use some Python libraries. We have just used the pandas library to read the data because this data is a CSV data. And uh, first thing we need to do is to, um, we need to check what is the data type of these two fields and we need to make the time fields data type as the date time and we need to index it. And then we will plot this data in matplotlib to get the different characteristics of a time series data. So let's begin. So I'll just copy this and I will get the info. And see, this is having the data type object and this is having the data type integer. So we need to change this data type object to the date time. So we'll use the pandas date time to change it. So air passenger data and the field name is month is equal to uh, pd dot to date time and then we'll have the same air passenger data and having the same field and we'll get the infer uh, date time format is equal to true so it will infer from the data itself and now if you just see the data so i'll just cut it from here and i'll just paste it from here so now you see there is another date field like this year month and date is given in this data set so if you don't provide any date for in the month after the month. So it will assume that it will be the first day of each month. So that's how it's coming like this. And let's see the data type. So now you see the data time is the date time. Now we need to create the index out of the uh, date time field. So it's very easy. So let's So this data is now should be indexed. So let's got uh, we just need to use the set index and we need to give the, what is the index field? So month is the index field. Now, if you get the head and info, you'll get, this is the, only field happen because the in the date time field is indexed now. And let's see the data as well. Now the data, like this is the index field and this is the, uh, like the variable field. Now we need to plot it in the matplotlib. So we'll import matplotlib as plt and then we will give the x level as like 
the date and y level as the field itself like the number of air passengers and then we'll plot the data so it will be plt dot plot and this will be the air passenger data yes now let's analyze this graph so we know that if the data so this is the data so uh, like let's call it as p and this is the time so this let's call it as t so first thing is that p is increasing over time i don't know it's linear or non-linear so let's don't come to that discussion but it's increasing over time so it has a trend part okay and next, like in some month, you see there is an abrupt decrease. And in some month, you see that regular increase in the count. So in some month, the count decrease. In some month, the count increase. And this is happening like periodically. So this is called the seasonality. OK. And the third part is this randomness so you see there are some like hiccups in this data this is not smooth so this is like called the error or random or irregularity okay so we need to analyze this ets because there is no cyclicity so over this period of time between like 1949 to you see uh, what is the data end it So 1949 to 1960 end. So there is no cyclicity over this data. Okay. So we need to go for this ETS first um, parts only. So you can decompose this ETS part and remove one by one. Okay. Or you can like remove all of them together. So the First thing is how to know that this ETS is removed from your data. So that is actually done visually or using some null hypothesis. We have just discussed it in the theory part. You can check it in the theories uh, tutorial as well. But that is called the moving average and moving standard deviation. If it is constant, then like you have removed the trend and the seasonality part and you made the data stationary and to do that we need to get a rolling average like over a period of time what is the average okay so in this case will you have the rolling average as the period of 12 months or, or yearly rolling average for this 10 years of span so let's get the rolling average is equal to air passenger data dot rolling and then we'll have the window is equal to 12 and we'll get the mean the same way we'll get the rolling standard deviation as well so that is called the moving average or moving standard deviation
Now we'll plot all these three in a particular graph. So I'll like make it the uh, original data as auric is equal to plt dot plot air passenger data and then we'll get the label as original okay and the second is like the mean is equal to plt dot plot roll mean then level is equal to rolling mean and third way what is the standard deviation so std is equal to plt dot plot roll std and level is equal to rolling standard deviation and then i'll plot this so plt dot legend location is equal to best i need to put it in quote and then the plt dot show now you'll see the data like this data and the rolling mean and the rolling standard deviation all three in a same graph Okay, I did some spelling mistake here. That's why it's creating problem. Yes, so you need to fo put focus on this uh, orange line and this green line. So this is where you need to make it like, like constant or zero, okay? by visually inspecting it this graph you can say that this is varying from 100 to 400 and something so this is the span of various variance so by visually inspecting it you can say that this is not having a constant rolling average so rolling average it is it constant No, it's not constant. So we need to apply some methodology to make it constant. So that is how your data transform and data analysis will take part. So your goal is to remove the ETS part and bring the stationarity to data to fit any statistical model on it. So we'll cover it in the next section. Thank you so much. Please stay tuned.